hopefully this is the last day of having poor audio quality. I'm trying to talk into my auxiliary mic, but I know that that one was very quiet. And if I use the mic that I know is louder, it just picks up the fan noise. So hopefully my package comes in the mail today and I'll have good audio quality for our phone, our class meet at 2.30. I can hear my fan revving up right now. Anyway, so I really want to quickly go over uh, just a little bit more about um, ordered pairs on the Cartesian plane, aka graphing little points, um, making sure to remember the x comma y order. Um, so the activity that I'm sending out today, I think it's pretty fun, it's pretty cute, uh, it's really just find the points and there are like little sections um, uh, of points, so there's groups of points, there's like group one, you plot like six points, connect the dots, and when you get all of the dots together, you'll get an image. Um, so here's where the problem comes in. Some of you have a printer. That's awesome. So I'm going to send out the sheet. You can print it. Problem solved. There's sunlight on my head. You can print it. Problem solved. You can just go ahead and give it a try. Some of you maybe have graph paper. If you have graph paper, I highly, highly recommend using using graph paper because you can really quickly just grab a ruler, throw it down the middle. Um, you can set up your, sorry, I'll make it nice and nice and neat. Set up your um, Cartesian plane, number it. Yeah, I'm gonna just get it nice and perfect. Number it. Uh, oh shoot, well that didn't even show up. Let's try that one more time. Make my pencil nice and long. You know, number it. One, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three. And then you can go from there. Is my light working? Yeah. Um, then you can go, this is why. And then you can go from there. Um, you'll have to number up to at least like nine in all directions. So positive nine, negative nine, positive nine, negative nine. Um, but some of you might not have a printer and you might not have graph paper. So it's going to sound a little bit archaic, but you can use lined paper. It just takes a tiny bit of extra work. And I know it seems like a lot of work, but I promise it's not. Take a look at these lines. If you have a ruler, uh, hopefully you have a ruler. If not, we'll talk about that. <laughs> uh, so you can measure how far apart the lines are. For me, they're a little bit more than five millimeters. So if you have an inch's side, it turns out that they're a quarter inch apart on my paper. Maybe they're different on yours. Quarter inch apart. That's just from this line to this line. So see there's a line here and a line there and it lines up perfectly. Every one of these slightly longer um, every one of these slightly longer dashes. So what you'll want to do, as crazy as it sounds, take your ruler, find about the middle of the page, maybe grab a nice dark oh shoot, a nice dark pen or pencil and make that really 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 dark and then try to do a perfectly straight one going the opposite direction oh I hope that works yeah that's about perfectly straight okay and then from here if you have your ruler oops you have your ruler line it up you know just pick any long line maybe I'll put it at four and then for every one of these quarter inch points just put a line, line, line. See, so it's a longer line. Line, 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 line. Uh, maybe I'll do a bunch of line, line, line. Just to make sure I have a lot. Line, 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 line. And it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Um, and then I can just take my lines, make them about perfect, and then I'll have a whole bunch of squares, a whole bunch of nice little grids, and then again, it won't be absolutely perfect, but you'll get the, f I think you'll get the effect of what we're doing, and you fill in all the parts, sorry, I could have made that a little bit longer, and if you take your time a little bit more, you won't end up with stuff like this, eesh, so again, I'll just draw a couple more lines, and I'll go this way, Good way to save yourself some.
pause on graph paper, but it's very tedious, and I will try to avoid. That's why I wanted to do a lot of stuff online. I know that a lot of you maybe have online connection, and you don't have graph paper, it's a lot easier to just use this program. Well, I missed one. That's okay. So, take your time. You'll probably want to do again at least nine this way and nine this way, so I don't think I even have enough. It'll take a little bit of time. And then you can again number them. Um, and just to point out, this is our this is our x-axis. This is our y-axis. And we can number this one, two, three, four, five. Make sure that you can really tell this is like that big thick line that we start with. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you'll want to go up to nine. And then this is zero, this is negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and five, and so on. So it's not going to be pretty, but it might work. Three, four, five, six. I'm just going to go until I'm done, and then you'll kind of see. Again, this is that middle. Here's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10. So we do have enough going up and down. I'm going to take a picture. Sorry. Oh, I'll just finish that up. And notice this is taking me approximately 6 minutes. Can't say, oh, I don't, I didn't have time to make it, Mr. Ellison, because it takes six minutes, and then it's just a matter of finding those matched pairs. So it's negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, one extra, and then here we go. And there you go. Take that. Take that, Staples. Now we have our nice little fake grid paper. I have labeled our x and y axis. Um, and then we can start finding those matching pairs. So, just a quick example, just to shove it in stable space. Um, if I had a point like this, uh, 4, comma, 6, I'm just making something up. You'll have a whole bunch. 4, comma, 6. I said, Again, it's called ordered pairs. They're in an order. So this is our x. This is our y. This is all from the last video, but I know the quality was really bad. Um, four, six. So what do we do? Well, if this is our x and this is our x-axis, let's count that out first. One, two, three, four, and six. Y is a positive six, so we'll count up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. There's our spot. That's four comma six. <coughs> Actually, you know what? I'll do three more just because I think my audio will be better here. Uh, so let's just pretend that's our first point. Let's say this is our second point. Our second point is who knows? Negative two comma three. Okay, so we do again x first, negative two. The 3 is positive, so we're still going up. 1, 2, 3. Alright, there's negative 2, 3. Okay, so we're just finding these points. We'll do two more. Uh, number 3, we'll do... Doesn't matter, negative 7, comma, negative... Okay, negative 7, negative 1. So again, the x is first, so let's find negative 7 there. 2, 3, 4. Uh, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4. Sorry, I did a bad job. 5, 6, 7. So negative 7 is here, and then we just go down to negative 1. That's only down 1. Our spot here is right there. Negative 7, comma 1. Perfect. Okay, last one. So, x is first, 
part X is positive five times.